Try it again, you guys. Sorry, the reception is just, uh, the reception's horrible. Soldiers return home, anticipating change after living abroad. This is called One Nation Under a Groove. Vast numbers of African Americans continue the migration north and west in search of better lives and greater opportunity. But both face the dawning reality. You guys just logging in, we're here in the African American out of the African American community. Music in uh, African American Museum of Music in Nashville, Tennessee. This room is called One Nation Under a Groove. Elements from this jazz, blues, gospel fusion. They had a Michael display in here a while back. Generations in their production. Should be right here, but we can make believe, right? Army is me at the core. Maybe I have a responsibility to, you know, introduce the new generations to that, to make sure they don't forget that that's what their parents were listening to, that that music is still important and that it should live on. By the mid-1950s, a younger generation of African Americans had created their own unique sound. Although this music was different from that of their parents' generation, the full spectrum of African American music traditions fed this moment, giving R&B a contemporary sound. As R&B took the country by storm, the emerging new sound was given the marketing term, rock and roll. Teenagers became its main consumer, and the music shifted to reflect their tastes. Black artists stepped into the spotlight. By the 1960s, record labels like Motown would emerge, and the music of a new generation became a worldwide sensation. This musical sea change, Ray Charles' gospel-based songs inspired further innovation by James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Otis Redding, and other artists of the 1960s. Soul music was a powerful and empowering expression of black culture and identity. Aretha Franklin, the emotion that she had was about her tone and how she could hit that one note and you feel it. That showed me that tone is more impressive than, you know, technique or being able to hit the highest note. It's not about perfection, it's about passion. And R&B, soul, and early funk gave voice to the 1960s civil rights movement and the spirit and ideology of black power. James Brown, Sly and the Family Stone, the Ohio players, and others pioneered the early trademark sound of funk. George Clinton's Parliament Funkadelic helped define a new funk style, driven by new technologies and concepts of Afrofuturism. Disco, house, and Detroit techno exploded on the scene in the 1970s and 80s. At the same time, new R&B styles added diversity to the soundscape. You know, it's alternative R&B, it's indie R&B, it's electronic R&B. Those funky it's divas. It's not as simple as just a bass and, you know, a good kick and snare. Contemporary R&B and soul music features musical ideas and artifacts flowing across genres and forward from the past, giving new music a classic feel while modernizing past traditions. I think R&B is very honest right now. I think it's very authentic. 
you know, I love hearing these new artists make these records that are nostalgic and are reminiscent of old school R&B. I think it's in a good place. We're reinventing and being very creative with what R&B is. There are artists in this generation that understand the bigger picture in R&B music and realize that that's what R&B is. It's so much bigger than just making a great song. Please wear headphones. starts coming, that consumer starts buying those records and those commission checks that starts uh, increasing. I was working for Mercury Records in Chicago and I received a call from my client Davis in New York. He had captured the rock business. He had captured the country business. All categories except black music. Oh, Leo, Leo.
We don't do him. As hip hop moved in waves across the U.S., the East Coast message diverged from West Coast gangster. Right on magazine, those who remember. Some even turned dead. I lost the reception there. You guys just tune in and we're in the National Museum of African American Music. Can't have a museum without Michael. Martha Quinn, Nina, Nina Peoples, Nina. Mm. If it was multiple choice, I'd get it. We all know the M was for Michael, right? Had that album. Nina Blackwood, thank you, Becky. Why am I hearing Michael? I'm hearing the way you make me feel. All right, now hold it. I have no clue how to do this. Michael, where are you? Be here. How can Michael not be here? How can Michael not be here? I have to be missing something. Moving around in circles. Please wear headphones. Well, that's not going to help us. Yeah, I hear Tina. Tina's in the background, but I don't get a reception in that. You know he's got to be here. There's Janet. Come on. Oh, Michael's always playing games. I can't believe that he's not here. Tap to begin. I know the problem. Hold on. I know the problem. You guys know the answer. You guys know what's wrong.
Okay. Now watch. Now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? I know you're here. He's just hiding on us. All right, let's go, Janet. Oh, okay. Okay, now. Michael's influencers. Okay, I'll buy that. So you put on the headsets. I don't know if you can hear it. You guys, it kind of doesn't work without the without the uh, sound. Yeah, I know we might get blocked. Well, all right. I just wanted to show you that. It seems like only six people are on. I think we probably got blocked already. Oh, this is that interactive. I knew I heard it. Stop it, Crystal. No, the person in the middle is supposed to be us. See? The closer you get, I think this is supposed to be the person. know what I did with that thing. I think I dropped it. I think I dropped that thing. Hold on. Oh. I can never go to these places. Oh, I left it here. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing.
Yeah, see? Here. Okay, Crystal, you happy? If anybody films this, Uh, if I hear Michael again, I'll come back. Lonique, what? I'm not commenting. Sorry, the ceilings are low and it's like, I think we're underground here. Sorry about that. If you guys are coming, the internet's horrible here. Really bad. Let me try to find another room that's, uh... so here's the Michael stuff. Michael Museum. They really should. I mean, I know the Hard Rock and in, in uh, Gary. Who remembers the Ohio players? I don't see Rick James. Hey, by the way, the tramps. The Jacksons have another concert, uh, 2024, in uh, Sacramento with uh, Sister Sledge and this group right here. I don't know if it's the same guys. I think there's a couple. Umbrella, Ella, Ella. Disco Inferno, <laughs> yes. Ella, Ella, yeah, we gotta have Rick. All right, we're. Where would they put Rick James? Don Cornelius, Soul Train. Teddy Pendergrass. We gotta be close. TSOP, you guys. That is the famous writing team of Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff, responsible. By the way, uh, today is the, uh, well, actually tomorrow is the 45th anniversary of the Destiny album. And um, these guys here, these guys here were uh, part of it. We'll play a little more tomorrow. All right, I'm on a hunt for Rick James. We, we can't.
can't leave Rick James. We know who that is. Very gory. Where would they hide Rick James? It's got to be like by red boots. I saw Parliament. Like it would have to be, you would think somewhere near like funk. Uh, by the 1960s, record labels like Motown, Bootsy Collins, type. The music of a new generation became a worldwide sensation. As part of this musical sea change, Ray Charles's gospel-based songs inspired further innovation by James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Otis Redding, and other artists of the 1960s. Soul music was a powerful and empowering expression of black culture and identity. Aretha Franklin, the emotion that she had was about her tone and how she hit that one note and you feel it. That showed me that tone is more impressive than, you know, technique or being able to hit the highest note. It's not about perfection, it's about passion. No, not in here. I probably just missed him somehow, Crystal. Family Stone, the Ohio players and others pioneered the early trademark sound of funk. George Clinton. It should be right after this. Helped define a new funk style, driven by new technologies and concepts of Afrofuturism. surge of electronic music, disco, house, and Detroit techno exploded on the scene in the 1970s and 80s. At the same time, new R&B styles added diversity to the soundscape. You know, it's alternative R&B, it's indie R&B, it's electronic R&B, but it's still R&B. It's not as simple as just a bass and, you know, a good kick and snare. Contemporary R&B. All right, let me walk around. Let me see what else. I mean, this this would pretty much be the Michael room if you guys are coming. Um, I didn't see the Jacksons. This here's the name of the room, One Nation, Under Groove. And a lot more Whitney than Michael.
Isaac Hayes, wow. See what else we could. So, Crystal Vivian, this will be your room. I did like this song, though. Oh, I like when I walk in. Crystal, you happy? Here, Vivian. I like when they can't see you. Go, Wendy. All right, that's enough. They're going to kick me out. All right, Montel, take us home. I can make a comment here, but I won't. I'm going to be nice because it's a respectful place. Oh, no, we don't do that. All you need is your guitar, your voice, your message. I mean, it's a pretty nice place, I gotta say. I think depending what age you are would be what 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 room you would what room you would go into um, I think this would be our room
I mean, it's a pretty nice place. So probably, you could probably spend a couple hours. Uh, I knew my camera pulled for a reason. Yeah, one thirty. I'm good. Thanks, Vivian. World War II ended and the nation celebrated. Soldiers return home, anticipating change after living abroad. We have reached a turning point in the long history of our country's efforts to guarantee freedom of any part of the nation. Campbell and Huff. Destiny album. It's just hit or miss with this internet. Sorry, you guys. I keep losing that little piece. Keep dropping the same thing, it's crazy. I've dropped this thing like four times. I know, you just want to get me back in here. I know how you are, Michael. All right. All right. Wendy, I know, I hear Michael, I wish Tatiana was here. All right, that's it. Come on, people are looking at me, they're laughing. Yeah, honey, there's a guy in a Pepsi jacket uh, doing Michael Jackson's. All right, I'm gonna walk outside, uh, tell you guys what's going on tomorrow, unless I'm missing something, hold on. I have no clue how I got in here, or how I get out. How's this the exit? Exit over here? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know where I went. Hang on. Why is he and Lady Gaga? Okay. Oh! No, no, wait. 
this. You know me, I'm always lost, everybody. Broadway. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys are coming, if you're ever in Nashville, National Museum of African American Music. It is cold. Fremont Street, Wendy. Get out of the noise. Oh, all right. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the connection. So um, tomorrow evening around 7. The show starts 7.30. I'll log on maybe around maybe 6.30, 7. Um, I'm in central time now, central, so I'm between Florida and Las Vegas, so not west coast, not east coast, but central, central time. It's an hour, an hour behind Florida time. Drum Billy Jean, no, that's just noise, they're just banging on things. Um, so I'm, pro I'm going to go there in the morning tomorrow, uh, just hang around, you know, have a close, hey Antoinette. A um, couple, couple people are coming, so I don't know if we're gonna meet later or tomorrow or. Um, but uh, the Jacksons in concert. I think I'm in. Think I'm in the second row. Um, this is an indoor. This is indoor, so I don't know. We got to stand right up front outside in uh, San Diego. I don't know inside. So for you girls coming, we need you girls to rush the stage. No, not rush the stage, but you know what I mean. Hopefully people are up and out of their seats, and um, and then I can uh, I can kind of blend in with the uh, camera. Um, hopefully reception's good. Once again, uh, we never know, um, but we'll go early and uh, you know see what else can happen. Yeah, I know for you guys, I know it's the middle of the night. I'll uh, I'll try and post it um, on on Facebook and then. Hopefully, no, G, yeah, Lauren, Gina's, uh, Gina's in California. She can't come. I asked her if she wanted to join uh, maybe on the pre-show. Um, I was going to log out a little early, but, yeah, so no Gina today. I know Sarah's coming with her friend, um, so it's up. Uh, you know, we need uh, we need you girls to uh, we need you girls to jump up and go on the stage. Once again, I don't uh, blend in. Not sure what to wear tomorrow. We're still, uh, it's cold. I mean, people are in like, people are in boots and gloves and scarves and stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not like, not like snow cold, but, but it's, it's cold. So, all right. Um, and then Wednesday, uh, bubbles, I'll, I'll update more on Tuesday. I have to drive back Tuesday morning and then Wednesday's, Wednesday's bubbles for the final time. Um, I was thinking about doing a doing a Thriller 40 on Christmas Day. I don't know if anybody, uh, you know, if people are alone or if they haven't seen it yet. I know a lot of people, holidays are uh, happy for some, sad for others. So I was thinking if there's enough, um, if there's enough interest, I could pull up the, uh, I could pull up the Thriller, the Thriller 40 again. And we can show up. There are so many people now. The football game. The football game has already started, but I mean, this was like this. This is Sunday, Sunday morning in uh, Nashville, and it's like the main. I had a park like five, five blocks up the road. No, Lauren, I'm gonna be in. Uh, this is my first Christmas in five years. I won't be at Forest Lawn. Uh, this has kind of been a Florida trip and Nashville and uh, uh, Bubbles, of course. So um, we have a big project coming up with Bubbles. Hopefully Patty's going to be able, from the Center for Great Apes, on Wednesday I'll be able to film a little bit in front of him and, and we can uh, talk with her. So um, I'll be back at Forest Lawn for uh, Valentine's, uh, Valentine's Day for sure. Yeah, this is a great little, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a combination of like, 
a like small town and city kind of. There's uh there's literally a bar on every I mean I don't even want to say every corner like every store is like a hockey town. Tina Turner Museum. Um, no, I, it wasn't in my. It wasn't in my uh, schedule. I'm just gonna kind of walk back here to walk out of the car while we're on in case, in case something. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but when we were when I showed you uh, Gamble and Huff. This is Gamble and Huff. We don't want to get blocked. We'll, we'll save it for tomorrow. I got a nice. Uh, I got a nice thing. Um, we'll play a couple videos of uh, the Jacksons in concert throughout the years. Yeah, Antoinette, Philadelphia, absolutely. Um, they were responsible for a lot of songs. We should do. We should do like a little tribute for them one day, because really, uh, you know, Rod Temperton with the Off the Wall and the Thriller album, but uh, but uh, uh, Gamble and Huff. I know they were on the Destiny album. It started when the you know when the brothers were no longer the Jackson Five, but uh, the Jacksons. And there's all kind of restaurants and stuff there. This was like a fun, yeah, the 45th, yeah, 40, 45 years ago, uh, the uh, the Destiny album. Look, they are just, the people lined up to get in. It's a combination of, of like country and, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't have to tell you. Not a lot of people in Pepsi jackets. Once again, I definitely do not blend in. Not really a camera pull, but kind of. It looks, it looks like a really fun town. It is, uh, is it about as far from Los Angeles as you can get? Just a different vibe. No, it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely country. It's definitely country music. Uh, I just want to say howdy to someone. Howdy. I'm not going to wear the glove. It's kind of like it's kind of like Elvis. Elvis meets Country meets football. The word 
honky tonk is everywhere. That seems to be the key word. It's more country. Uh, yeah, I would say yes. I mean, like if the fashion is any indication. Yeah, excuse me. Do you carry the Michael Bu carry the Michael Bush uh, connect uh, collection? I'm here for the Michael Bush. All right, I'm gonna get ready. Where am I? Did I just make a circle? There's a lot of churches too. There's a lot of churches. Oh, I'm right back where we started. All right. What is M.I. Rose, and I, Sarah? I have no clue. I don't even know where I am. I know I have to try. Oh, I'm back with these guys again. Oh my God. Elvis meets Michael. Now it sounds like Los Angeles. Oh my god. What am I doing here? It's near downtown. Aren't I in downtown? I'm on Broadway and... Broadway and John Lewis. Yeah, and they only have, they have two hour parking, which is gonna be a problem tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get out here early. Yeah, it looks like a fun town. The streets are clean. Uh, there's not really a police presence at all. Seems like a fun place to spend a Sunday. There's valet at the event. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, but the problem is I get there seven hours before the event. I, I, I'll do a little research in the morning. All right, anyone have anything? Anybody? Uh, I'll let you know on Bubbles Tuesday. Be ready Wednesday. This is gonna be my last trip up there, my fourth, my fourth trip this month, or this past uh, four weeks, going to visit Bubbles. Following the I'm following the street signs, only because otherwise I normally wouldn't. See, that's how you get around town. Could you see me on one of those? Yeah, I know. Don't get sick. All right. Okay, you guys. So tomorrow night, Jackson's final show of 2023. Um, live from downtown Nashville. There's no opening act that I could see. It says 7.30. I'll log on early. Just be ready during the day. You know, in case, uh, in case something happens. You never know. You know how this stuff goes.
So I'll be uh, I'll be lurking around for sure once I can park. Maybe I should Uber, I guess, from the hotel. That probably makes the most sense, I think, since I don't know. And it'll be on a Monday. Although it can't, it can't be more crowded than it is uh, today, really. You thought he was going to ask for... Vivian, who were we talking? Who was asking me? Who? I don't know what she's saying. All right, you guys. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see you tomorrow night for sure. TJ will also be there. Yeah, somebody, someone uh, sent me that. Yeah, someone sent me that. Um, so of course, you know, Charles in the group and uh, TJ. Um, and you never know who else. You never know what happens at a Jackson, at a Jackson uh, party. So, all right, I'm freezing. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye from Nashville.